Hi friends, hope you all are doing fine and uh, hope you have tried the previous uh, uh, kit which I had shown in FET simulation in the previous video. And this time I am showing you another kit uh, that is the AC kit. And the purpose behind showing both the kits separately is so that you get the idea as to what is different between the AC kit and the DC kit. In the DC kit, you are able to see what I had shown you that you can make a simple circuit. You can uh, use to uh, measure resistances and you can show the various uh, basics of uh, studying electric current or uh, what we study in electric current. Whereas in the uh, this video, you will be able to sh show them the difference between or rather students will be able to learn the difference between the AC and the DC current and uh, the visual is so strong that I can promise you that there can nothing be better than this. So watch the video. Uh, last time, if you remember, I had opened the uh, FET simulation and I had taken the kit of DC. This time on purpose I have taken the kit of AC. I hope you have explored the previous video and you have explored FET simulation. So I will show you, uh, as I said, I will show you few things and rest you should be able to explore. So for the previous video also I will show you what you can explore more. But for today I will just take up this concept of AC and DC and uh, I have a feeling that if you ask students to connect it like this the DC current with the wire and a bulb hmm? and as we did it last time a very simple circuit this time I have just taken two batteries connected in series and now I am taking another circuit wherein I will take a wire I will take a bulb then I will take another wire and connect the wire to the bulb hmm, as we did it for the DC circuit and this time instead of using the battery I am going to use this AC voltage so that I am able to get the alternating current and see when I connect what happens. Can you see that by just looking at the two things the DC circuit and the AC circuit a child can understand a straight for a difference between the AC current and the DC current. It is so visual. And if you want to make it more clear, you can increase the voltage of the battery so that it is more clear. And then on this side, you can uh, increase the frequency here to make it be appear better and increase the voltage and voila, see the difference between the AC current and the DC current and then you can have the voltage chart across the two terminals. Hmm? you can have the current chart if you want as to how much current is flowing through the circuit and what is the pattern so you will be able to watch it very clearly if you want to uh, try it in uh, try both things in the uh, DC circuit also you can try there also and connect it this way You can measure the voltage, use the voltmeter if this is beyond the range. You can use the voltmeter here and test how much voltage is there. And you can use the emitter. You can also show how emitter can be. Rather, uh, you can just direct children, uh, show a circuit and ask them to connect an emitter. the 
power circuit and children will be able to see the voltage and the current and do you think we can do ohms law using this just try and run your uh, brain and maybe next time we can see more of course you can see here now there is a switch there is a resistor which, which was not there in the other uh, kit and you of course have the conductors and the insulators you have a fuse too no? so you can show the usage of fuse the children can learn the usage of fuse also so even the current chart can be inserted inside here and uh, everything can be seen see so it is uh, i think a very visual uh, effect to the uh, current when we say that electrons are flowing and uh, and we take some wires and bulb and say okay see because electrons are flowing so current is in this direction of course that will make a difference when you combine it with this fed simulations let them play on the fed simulations you can even have values you can even want to use a stopwatch you can use that for experiments you can show conventional currents because you know the current flows in a di different directions and the electrons in a different so you can show the electrons and you can show the current flow i think a very very effective simulation if you recall last time i had opened this virtual lab dc and i had just explained to you how you can open the simulation and how you can actually uh, show the circuit and make different things right now let me tell you how you can upgrade yourself to help children upgrade themselves so here you can see about teacher resources you remember i said you should sign in because it will be better so once you sign in you will be able to see no you don't have to pay anything so teacher resources you go to this and you come to this see so here you are able to get these teacher tips you go you go down and you keep on seeing this and here you can read and you can find tips for using fet also is here you can see some questionnaires you can get on the uh simulation and then model simplification and how the model works everything is here then what more so let me go back and then i come to the teacher resources again so here are teacher tips now activities in the activities you will be able to see see algebra based physics semester 1 lessons and clicker questions this clicker questions is very interesting and let me pick up the uh, inquiry based uh, circuit construction kit the kit we did last time if you have a look here you have clicker questions pptx and circuit challenge you can open these worksheets and see they will be very interesting and they uh, not only that you can utilize them as they are but you will also be able to make uh, as per customized as per your classroom and as per your children and here there is a whole list of Uh, simulations which you can use to teach circuit circuit resistance current resistance parallel fed power series and you know there is more people think that it is only for smaller classes but go ahead and see even the um, physics of the higher levels can be done now let me just open one clicker question pdf and show you what it has so see Instru now introduction of electrical circuits resistances in series and parallel circuits combo circuit lab now what do you get here what you will discuss almost like your lesson plan if you build this circuit now this you can give to children if you build this circuit with real equipment how would you determine the resistance of the resistor whether use the ohmmeter uh, after so children can do this activity and then answer these questions step by step if you increase the voltage of the battery how will the light bulb change see, see uh, it is so beautifully because it is customized by teachers by the way if you have ideas you can also prepare such and add to the fed simulation uh, resources so that you know uh, you will also add resources here so the uh, see you have whole lot of questions series resistance and series circuits what are the learning goals for children so suppose you are not a very uh, core uh, physics person and you are teaching 
I know there are many teachers who do that. So this is one way out that you can uh, just follow this and remember you will teach children beautifully. Children will learn very nicely and slowly you will be able to develop their knowledge and surely your knowledge too. You will be more comfortable with with the subject. So this is about quicker questions, clicker questions which I like very much. You can ask, uh, make it in PPT, you can supply them in OneNote or you can give them in notebook and tell them that okay, you have to answer these five questions today by playing on FET simulation. So hope you uh, are enjoying the video and I am very... So see you again in the next episode of Power Learning with Simulations. See you.